I get really homesick <laughs> and I think I'm gonna just cry some nights because I'm missing these guys like so much. Aww, I'm so sorry. But I also have this like heaviness in my heart because will be leaving us for 10 whole days. That's the longest we've ever been apart for. It's gonna be so hard for me to try not to cry when Sable leaves. Oh, it's gonna be hard for everyone to try not to cry. But we have to be supportive of Sable because tomorrow she's going to America to compete in the X Games Trail Skateboarding Competition. Sable's goal is to try and qualify for the biggest action sport X Games and our goal is to try and support Sable and not cry. And because if we cry, that's going to make her even more sad when she leaves. Mm. Thanks, guys. Emergency hug. I love you. Oh, I feel so many different emotions. Like, firstly, I'm excited because... You might even get to see some American legends. Yes. And if you are an American legend, can you please look after Sabre for us? Please? I do really hope I see some American legends, but I'm also really sad because... I'm gonna have to leave these guys, and mm. even though I'm like 13, I should be all mature and stuff. I, I get really homesick, <laughs> and I think I'm gonna just cry some nights because I'm missing these guys like so much. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I also have this like heaviness in my heart because when Papa and I are in America, Mum will be due to give birth, and I won't be in Australia to help Mum push the baby out of the charger, and I just kind of feel like guilty for not supporting mum. Don't worry Sable, we'll take good care of mum. I'll even give her special massages. Yeah. Yeah. You should not be worried at all. She has the best birth partner ever. Me! <laughs> Suki's even going to bring new legends into the birthing suite with her. I am so excited. <laughs> legends, I think I'm going to take you guys upstairs with me so you can see what I've packed so far. Oh yes. Here is my suitcase. I've got some skating pads. Where's your skateboard say? I won't forget, don't worry. Where are you gonna wear this fancy dress to? That's cool, you got some stoppage cream in case the rabies squirrel bites you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't finished packing yet, but I'm gonna pack the rest of it now. Oh. Downstairs, make her a little surprise. She's gonna love it. Shh. Shh. You're gonna be quiet, legends. I thought we could all write Saber a letter so where you can pride it in her suitcase secretly, and when she's feeling a little bit homesick, she'll find them and read them. Wow. Wow. That's a sick idea, Biggie. <laughs> Let's start. We need to make sure this letter is really heartfelt for Saber. Because if we don't, she feels like she needs to win it for us. And if she doesn't, she's going to let the whole team down. you got to write something that says, it doesn't matter if you let the whole team down. You've tried so hard, okay? Yeah. Legends, I feel really worried for Sable. Because remember when she didn't qualify in her last comp? And she was just so devastated. Mm. Roll that clip. <laughs> Yeah, the like, legends don't care. They had our song on. It's like, oh, Saber's gonna do well. Saber's gonna really do well. All the legends are there. Catch me, Knuckles. Like, and they were all like, they all knew it. They all knew our song and they all knew about you, legends. And I felt like, because I knew they let everyone, I'll let you down by not winning. That's why I'm trying to make my letter really good because I'm worried when she's sad, I won't be there to cuddle her. I think my letter to Sabre is all right. Here it is, Legends. To my dear sister Sabre, when you're at USA and you read this, I hope it touches your heart and makes you feel warm. Sabre, listen to me. It really doesn't matter if you win or lose. Do not worry about Mama. She's in good hands. Literally, I'm gonna be calling her. And I will FaceTime you if Mama does go into labor. 
Legends, do you think that sounds all right? You reckon it's gonna help her? I'm trying really hard to make my letter look really fancy. And also I want the picture to be pinch perfect. You are the best older sister, full stop. I will miss you so much, full stop. Who will read me my bedtime stories? Full stop. I'm gonna miss how Saber's really good just helping me with my emotions and that's what I'm gonna miss Saber a lot about. What I'm gonna miss most about Saber is how she always reads me a bedtime story every night. I don't know who's gonna read them to me now. It's having someone to laugh because her laugh is like sometimes really annoying but also very funny. She's just very nice to be with. I'm gonna miss her so much. But when she comes back, she might have a little baby brother. <laughs> we have finished our letters! Shh. Let's hide them inside a suitcase. Yeah. Hopefully she's finished packing. I said she won't be finished packing. She doesn't even know what to take. Oh damn it, she's still packing. Guys, we better go. Oh, I just had a really good idea. So I was thinking maybe we could do like a quiz with the Norris Nuts to see like who knows America the best and I could be the judge. I thought it'd be cool because like I'm going to America tomorrow so it'd just be like a perfect fit. Yeah. It's a good idea. Welcome back to another episode of Quiz Time with the Norris Nuts! American edition. And our host is Saber Norris. Today we're going to be seeing which one of the Norris Nuts knows the most about America. It's I I know that Floyd Mayweather is there. I know that legends live there. Yeah! Yay! Legends live there! First question is, name three celebrities who live in America. Just said one earlier, Vicky. Oh, Floyd Mayweather. That's two. And Little Mix. They're UK. They're from the UK, so Biggie turn stops there. Oh. Now, your turn. <laughs> Ellen? Yes? Ellen DeGeneres? I'm um, Floyd Mayweather. She can't copy mine. I can't, can't copy. copy. Three. Sophia two. Grace? She's UK. Wow. Yeah, she's UK. Logan Paul. Yes, that's right. Ariana Grande? No! That's copying! I said that! Ariana Grande is actually Italian. Yeah! So on question one, no one got a point. Mm. What's the prize if you win? Um, we'll get mum to buy you a chocolate. I don't think mum will buy us a chocolate. Mum, can you buy the winner a chocolate, please? No answer. No answer. Silence. Question number two. What is Thanksgiving and what's it celebrate? <laughs> Turkey? It does eat turkey, but I'm not sure if that's how they celebrate it. That's the reason behind them celebrating it. But no, I guess it's fine. Don't they celebrate for Jesus? <laughs> that's Christmas, man. <laughs> that's Christmas. <laughs> they said no, you two is done. Thank you for saying thank you to God. No, they celebrate for people giving. Like giving stuff to other people, that's where they give all their... But how did it come about? <laughs> By war? <laughs> By I think it did have something to do with war, but... Anzac Day! Sorry. Anzac <laughs> Day is Australian! Question three. Name three presidents. <laughs> What is America's national food? I know what I said it first! Um, <laughs> Biggie, mac and cheese, turkey. <laughs> Hamburgers, <laughs> hot dogs. No. Number one I'm thinking of. Pe thinking. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No. The answer is... Tomorrow! Actually, before you say this answer, what? Turtle. No. It's not turtle. It's not turtle. That's Chinese. That's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato. 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 Tomato.
Name five American lollies. Yes? Yes. Yes. Um, so it's a Twinkie. I know another one. Yes. Um, no. No, they can't. Oh. Um, Reese's, Swiss Fish, Cookie Dough Boys, Hershey Chocolate. Because you say what you say to me. Marshmallow Cup. Ah, hey, you say to me. So we get the chocolate bar. Ah, 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 the winner of Who Knows the Most About America with one point. Was downstairs getting undies and she's not here, so let's go hide out. That is quickly. Saber, before you go, there's something really important I need to show you. Let's go. Okay. What I wanted to show you was the legend comments that they have written for you. It's I think it's gonna help you like not put too much pressure on yourself. Okay. I'm excited to read this. Yeah. They're, they're really nice comments. Look what Jazz did say. You're truly amazing and you didn't let anyone down. I promise we're here for you. Kaylee Frederick said, you won in my book saver. How's that? Like, I got second, but Kaylee said that I won. Oh, here's one. The legends don't care. The most important thing is that you tried. Us legends are proud of you. See, Saber, that's why I want you to know the legends are proud of you no matter what. I'm so lucky. Look what BJ wrote to me. He said, Sabre, you made me cry. The legends don't care what you get. I'm proud of you just for getting second. Good job. Reading these just makes me like so emotional because I just realized how lucky I am to have legends who just like support you. Yeah. I love what Paul and Matt said. We don't want gold or anything, just your happiness, kid. That's true. We don't want gold. <laughs> Or anything, we just want Sabre to be happy. That's all that matters. I really want to win this one for you guys. I have been sitting here trying to tell you it doesn't matter. No, she does not care. She's like, <laughs> I'm winning this for the legends. But imagine if I could like dedicate my win to the legends. Because like every single one of you legends deserves it. Yeah. That might be a way for like paying them back for every single one of the legends who wrote me such nice things. No, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It honestly doesn't. That was the whole point of this. I didn't do this for nothing. I <laughs> did this so you would get in your little head that <laughs> second place or fourth place or last place is fine. Okay. Legends, I just thought the best idea ever, so I'm going to prank my dad. I'm gonna hide his tooth, put it in my backpack, and I'm not gonna give him his tooth until on the plane on our way to America. So Papa's gonna think that we're going to America and he hasn't got a tooth in. It's good. Legends, it's 4.09 a.m. and I'm waking up Sabre because her plane departs really early this morning and you know, I feel really emotional. <laughs> Say goodbye to everyone, honey. Okay. Probably have one. Bye. Bye. Sorry to interrupt, but just before you do your outro, I've got to tell you something funny that Saber's doing. What? She's playing a prank on Justin. She took his front tooth and hid it in his bag, and he thinks he doesn't have it. Oh.
<laughs> so he thinks he's flying to America without his front tooth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think we've got it. Like we haven't, we haven't got it. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's, not, it's not the worst thing in the world, but can you buy a tooth when you're over there? No, nah, I don't think you can just buy a spare tooth. <laughs> Papa still hasn't found his tooth. Hey, Lord, have you got my tooth? Or is it? I've looked everywhere in my bags. I can't find it. No, I'm serious. I'll send you a photo. So you don't have it. Well, what am I meant to do? Checked everywhere. Do you know where it is? or? You probably left it. Mom, like, ring mum. Bro, like, have you got the tooth or not? Because like, like, I'm going to go to America and it needs to be here. Like, I can't. No, I was on the table. I swear I was on the table. You don't have it. I she doesn't have it. Do you want to know where your tooth is? What do Do you want to know where your tooth is? You got it. Yay! You got your tooth back! I'm complete again! <laughs> Are you mad at me? No, I'm tapping my number two. <laughs> Shout out goes to LJCI. Hi, LJCI. She wrote like a letter to mum to like about the old aging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gave yeah. mum some um, advice. About mm. It. Mm. She said, Mum Norris, make sure you are doing fetal kick counts. That means like she count. I think mum has to count every time yeah. the baby, baby kicks. kicks. Don't worry, Legends. We'll take good care of mama. And wait, wait, like, wait. You're an American legend and you see Sabre, can you please give her a big hug for me? Mm -hmm. Anyway, legends, see you!